And uh, you know, it's not it's not always just you know seeking like serious serious. There was many fun things about it as well, and many funny stories um, as well. There's one friend of mine. I mean, there's many. I'll just mention one. We we had a break after class. It's about a ten minute break be- between two classes. And there's a little hut that sent that used to sell uh, sandwiches and tea. So it's break time. We just want to get a sandwich. We want to get some tea. <coughs> we were drinking and we were eating. Finished eating. The bell went or the, or the time went, and uh, we went back to class. So we we still had tea in our hand that we didn't finish it. The teachers weren't that strict. They, they used to allow us if we bought it to, to finish it. So we go. We sit down, and there's papers being given out. And what's going on? Exam? Hadith exam? Do you not know? We're looking at each other like, oh, what, what exam are you talking about? And we're just getting stressed now, like, okay, well, what you, and the teacher was teaching us at that time with Sheikh Rashidan, he was teaching us. Those are always one of the, the strictest teachers you can get. And, uh, but then long story short, we realized we walked into a lot wrong classroom. <laughs> <laughs> it was the next classroom, so then we quickly went, and we walked into Rashid, Sheikh Rashidan's classroom, then he told us off for being late. So, you know, Alhamdulillah, it was, uh, Allah is an amazing experience, one of the best experience of my life, and, you know, to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. One of the greatest things that we thank Allah is to give zakat of that knowledge that we have, uh, that little knowledge that we have uh, learned. So without that, that vibe or experience is, you know, one of the best feelings that a person uh, can have. And I urge all of you, and if you have the opportunity to apply, whether it's in Medina or even Umar Quran, Mecca, or any other university, obviously if you go to the other universities, the only thing you're missing out on is the haramin. Masjid Nabwi and Masjid Haram. In our free time, you know, alhamdulillah, you got some free time. Even if you didn't want to study, you just go and sit in the masjid. That's, somebody said that to me when I, when I first got there. He said, even if you don't learn anything, the fact that you can pray six years, all your salawat in Masjid Nabawi, that, that's enough of a blessing. SubhanAllah. But if you're not in those two and you get accepted to Riyadh or Qasim, whatever the case may be, still you're surrounded by ulama and you're seeking knowledge, you're learning about your, your religion. So without a doubt, you know, it's everyone who's able to do so to um, apply. And... If, you, if you're unsure right now, I don't have to apply, I don't know not to apply, apply, and once you get accepted, then make your mind up if you want to go or not. But don't let the opportunity go, because once you get 25, it's a lot more difficult to get in, and people just regret. 